show. All right, all right. Waiting on the popcorn. Popcorn's ready. Oh, great. Who is it? We're close. Never fails. It's Donnie. Hey, Donnie. What do you want? Oh, hey, Terrell. I'm bored. Grandma's not home. What are you guys doing? We're just getting ready to watch the best show ever, Blade Man and Throttle. Grandma said I can't watch that show. It's too violent. But I watch it anyways. Can I come in? I guess. But don't be talking during the show, or you're going to be back at Grandma's house. Hey! What are you doing? Give me that. Get out of my chair. Well, go sit on that bucket. Popcorn ain't for you. It's for me, Junior. Okay, okay, sir. Give me that remote. All right. Now who is it? Junior, go see who's yeah. at the door now. Yeah. What do you want? Oh, hey, you. Is your daddy around? Go away, slippers. We're about to watch something. Come back tomorrow when we're open. What are you guys doing? Oh, are you watching Blade Man and Throttle in there? Yeah. Oh, come on, let me in. No. Get out of my Slippers. way. Slippers. I don't oh. want this joke. Joker, yeah. Ooh, this is a pretty nice chair right here. How's it going, Danny? What's up? What's up, Slippers? Slippers, that's my spot. What are you doing? Get out. What? Get out of here. No, uh, you're not sitting there. Get out. Uh, okay, okay. That's the idea. Either sit on the floor or stand there or find something. Here, Slippers. All right, quiet down, everybody. Here we go. Throttle will be here soon, so we gotta stay one step ahead of him. <laughs> Joker! I knew you'd be here! Well, yeah, kinda gave you a call and tipped you off. And plus, I can never pass up a good deal when I see one. Alright, fix them, boys! <laughs> Which one should I take, Blade Man? You take the big one, and I'll take the other big one. All right, sounds good. A couple of sarsaparillas, maybe? Pterodactyl hair. And today's how-to video is not going to be on this Husqvarna. It's going to be on what's inside this Husqvarna. And that there is that B-twin Briggs Intact. You know what that sounds like? That sounds like money. I'm going to show you how to replace that sump gasket 
on that here V twin because them sump gaskets sometimes they leak and this one's leaking. Okay, so we got to pull the motor off of this here tractor to replace that sump gasket. So first thing I'm going to do is rip off the hood. Okay, we got the motor ripped out, sitting here. We got all the oil drained out of it. But the most important part you're going to want to know is, look, governor shaft is hooked to this sump cover. So that means you have to disconnect this, so you're going to disrupt this governor. And then when you go to reassemble this engine, you're going to have to know how to set the governor. So this is the most important part of this this how-to video. Replacing a gasket is easy. This is the part you're going to want to know about when we go to reset it after we put that on and then when we go to reinstall the oil pump because that's what's under here, the oil pump. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to remove all the bolts and take this arm off, the governor, and then we're going to take a peek inside see what's going on inside this Briggs and Scratton. Now, I don't know if you know this, but in my other video, I go over this drain thing. Look, loose. I don't know why these things are loose when they come from the factory, but that's a thing you're going to want to check. That's hand tight. Now, I didn't do that. That was like that, but that's something to check. So you're going to want to put some pipe sealer on there maybe or just tighten it up. But that's something to look at. And then also... You may want to replace the crank seal too since you've got it apart. That's a good practice. You're going to put a gasket on, might as well put a new crank seal in. So we're going to do that too, put crank seal in. Alright, I got all the bolts out. And as you can see, they're all the same length. But you know what? Who cares? I don't care. I'm throwing them bolts away. You know why? Because you get new bolts in the kit. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to take the arm off. I got it loose. You may have to fry on it. Let me get screwdriver. Fry that open a little bit. Come on. Come on, baby. Why are you being so difficult? There we go. Slide that off. Come on. Now what are you doing? There you go. All right, slide that off. Let that hang. Make sure none of them springs come untatched. All right, now we're just going to tap the cover off. Like I said, I got all the oil drained out. Give a little tap, a little tippy tap. Pull it off. And there, see? This is where it was bad, where it was leaking. See how it sucked it in? Look at that. Looks like it's missing in a bunch of spots. Look at here too. See? Now luckily in the kit, the new gasket is better. They improved the gasket. So now we got to get all this all scraped off. Look at it. It's all hard as a carp. Alright, I'm going to get this all gasket all cleaned off. You can do that. I don't have to show you how to clean a gasket off. And then uh, I'm going to clean this all up, make it all nice, get all this dirt off of here. I'll put it in my pressure, or my pressure washer. I'm going to put it in my parts cleaner and clean it off. If you don't have a parts cleaner, you could use kerosene works good. I don't recommend using old gasoline. I'd rather use kerosene. It's got a low flash point. 
and it works good. It's a good cleaner. It's a good cleaner. Uh, you can see there's some earl left in there, and I want to slurp that earl out. Now, you can drain it out whatever way is best for you, but we use one of these oil slurpers here. Now, I've seen that Harbor Freight is selling these now, so if you have a Harbor Freight store, you might want to go and pick one of these up. It's a handy tool. So, we just stick this down in there, and you give it a couple of pumps. It works best when the oil's hot. Someone's here. Hold on, I gotta go wait on the customer. All right, see? See, I wanted to slurp that out. You know why? Cause look, little pieces of gasket fell in there when I was cleaning it out. When I was cleaning gasket off. So I wanna get all them little bits. Make sure you get all these little bits out. Now I'm gonna go in with a rag and mop all this up. Now here's your governor. And we're gonna go over a, a little bit of that on the bench when we go to put the seal in. And then here's another thing. These are these locating pins. Now they come out. Sometimes they get stuck in the sump cover. What you wanna do is if one's in the sump cover or both are in the sump cover, you're gonna wanna put them on the engine block because that's gonna help to hold the gasket in place when you go to put the sump cover back on. Don't take the cam or nothing out, but if you do, all you gotta do is line the marks back up. There's a mark on the crank, and then there's a mark on the cam. But I didn't mess with any of that, so I shouldn't have to double check it. See, there's a the mark on the cam. All right, got the sump cover all cleaned up, got the gasket off. Here's the oil pump shaft. We're gonna leave this out, because we're gonna put this in last. And then I wanna touch on the governor shaft here a little bit. Here it is. Now you can see, see? That little, that little mark on the shaft here, on the lever? That was pushing against that governor gear I showed you inside the motor. So just for this video, I'm gonna take Mr. Paint Pen and I'm gonna draw an arrow on here. So when we go to reassemble it, we know that it goes in this direction, the push on that gear. We're turning it that way. Now I'm gonna go ahead and knock the seal out, put the new seal in. Take a screwdriver and a hammer. Bang, 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 damn out! Just knocked it right out. Now you can see on this cover, it's got a lip on it, so that means that seal's only gonna go in that far. So let me get the seal and the gasket kit, and let's take a peek. Now I got this seal and this gasket kit from our friends at Pro Parts Direct. There's the part number of the seal. There's the part number of the gasket kit. Now let's open it up, just like Christmas. Opening up presents. Woo! Bag of bolts. Got some thread locker on it. Some instructions. Here's some instructions. Tells you what the torque value is. So the oil pump is shown in the repair manual. I'm the repair manual, so we don't need this. And here's the uh, some more stuff. Use a plastic scraper and remove the gasket. Using a metal scraper or knife such as steel wool buffing pads will damage the aluminum surface. Just be careful when you're cleaning the gasket off. Just be careful. So you can read this. Comes in the kit. And here's the gasket. Let's take a look. 
Now look at this gasket. Look at how they improved it. They beefed it up. They added a lot of material to those areas where it got blown out. So they made a better gasket. All right, now let me get the seal. Come on, Mr. Seal. Now you wanna tap these in. You wanna tap on the corner, the edge of this if you can. There. That went in. Slicker than snot. See how easy that was? Right, I got me a little punch now. And I'm going to lightly tap that down against that edge. Until it stops. See? Hear the sound difference? Alright, we're seated against there. Mission accomplished. And then we're going to lubricate that a little bit. And we're going to lubricate this journal. And you want to know what a good lubricant is? I'm going to tell you what a good lubricant is and a good assembly lube. Right here from Valco Cincinnati. Gel lube and general purpose oil. You know who uses this stuff? NASCAR engine builders. You know what's good about this? It's real sticky. It's sticky and it sticks to the metal. So if you're doing any engine rebuilding, you're going to want this gel lube because it sticks. Regular assembly lube will drain off and end up in the bottom of the pan. This stuff sticks. Good to use on cams because it sticks. This is good stuff. So, Gel Lube from Valco Cincinnati. Alright, I put the gasket on the dowel pins. Now I want to spray a little assembly lube on the cam. And I'll spray some on this journal. A little bit on there. It'll mix with the oil so you're not going to hurt nothing. We're going to put a new oil filter on, so I took the oil filter off and I got the oil pump all out. Now, I want to hold this back. Remember I drew the arrow on there? So I want to go the opposite of the arrow. I want to hold this back as I put the cover on. And we want to watch our seal, make sure we don't fold it over you see starting to fold it see you got to be careful so if you got a little screwdriver or something you can get it started so you don't ruin your new seal oh see I folded it that ain't good that's gonna leak Yep, see, I already popped that spring out. See? Hope I didn't ruin this. Alright, let's try this again. I was able to get that spring back on and that spring wasn't damaged. That was my main concern. Gingerly, gingerly, there, see it went in. Now, sometimes in order to get the gears to mesh, you might have to put a pair of channel locks on it and wiggle the shaft to get the cover to drop down. Don't force it down, you want it to go down on its own. Now there it is, it's on. Now we're going to do the oil pump which is real simple. Here's the oil pump shaft. It only goes in one way. See, one end's bigger than the other. So this end goes in, drops in to the notch on the camshaft. 
Then you can put this on. Doesn't matter which way it goes, it can go either way. And then this. So you just gotta kinda turn it till it lines up. And it'll drop in once you get it lined up. Here's the flat. There we go. See? Like a little puzzle. Now they use an O-ring. You can order a new O-ring if you want, but it is an O-ring. And this one still looks like it's good. So we're just going to use it over. And you can see where it was wearing. So we can put that back like that. And you can put your screws in. Now, in the instructions, they show you which, start with one, two, three, four. That's how you tighten the bolts down in that sequence. And then you go a third, two thirds till you get to 300 inch pounds. If you don't have a torque wrench, then you're just gonna have to guess. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna put the bolts in and torque it down, put this back on, put the motor on, then I'm gonna show you how to set the governor. All right, I'm going to use a speed wrench to put these in. Now, what I normally do when I use a speed wrench is I go backwards till I hear a click. Hear it? Hear a click? Then I know I'm not going to cross thread. Because you don't want to cross thread these because now you're going to make a whole other problem. Now in the instructions they tell you to chase out the holes if there's any thread locker in there, but they tell you don't use a tap. Just blow them out real good. You don't want to cross thread it. You want to make sure they go in. Alright, I transferred that arrow that I had drawn on the cover to the arm now so you could see it. Quarter inch socket will fit on the end of this shaft. So watch, this doesn't move much, this shaft. It only moves a little bit. So we want to go all the way towards the arrow which I've got. Now, I drew another arrow on here to show you that we set this at full throttle. So this, when you push this, that's full throttle. And the reason you can, t the way you can tell is you'll feel tension on that governor spring. See, when you go the other way, it's, you don't have as much tension on it. So all the way this way to fast, hold it, and then you want this all the way this way. Alright, now I'm holding all this. I'm holding this with my thumb, and I'm holding this with my finger. Now I'm going to tighten this up. And you don't have to put a lot of pressure on it. You just don't want to make sure there's no slack in anything. Now I'm tightening that up. All right. Now, show you how to check it. See, it moves. If you went the wrong way, this wouldn't move. So this, this is going to work when we get done. All right, so now I'm just gonna take the engine, plop it back on there, and we're gonna fire it up. Okay, let's reinstall the engine, fire it up. Get that muffins in there, muffin pipes. All right. those cables correctly so let's go over them cables a little bit throttle and choke cable all right choke cable first that's choke cable because I'm pulling on it pretty simple just hook it in that's fully open the choke there and then get the cable under that clamp 
tighten her down. And then you just want to pull on the choke to make sure it's going all the way, which it is. Alright, now throttle. You could tell where it was worn. You should mark them before you take them off, but you could tell it was in there. Alright, so we look up on the panel, fast, grab it, all the way forward. So we're on fast. We hook it in, and we just want to pull it all the way back. You don't want to force it because you might move the lever up there. Tighten her down. And then just try it. Slow, fast. Slow, fast. All right, now, so, some of you are probably going to ask, Terrell, should I put gasket sealer on that gasket? That's totally up to you. Uh, you really don't need it. They improved the gasket. But if you want to use a sealer on it, you go right ahead. But I just put it on without it because I think it's going to be good. Code date on this engine, 2005. So this engine's like 11 years old before that gasket failed. Took 11 years, so, you know, and they improved the gasket, so I think it'll be fine the way it is. So now we're really gonna start it. We're not gonna fake start it like we did earlier. We got everything hooked up, all the wires and everything are all plugged in. Fuel lines on. We put oil in it. Don't forget put oil in it. So let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna pull out the choker. Ran for a second there, didn't it? for this video to make sure it was going to run. We just did it on the fly. So see, Governor, everything was hooked up correctly and everything worked. No tricks this time. We did it for real. And as always, you know what Terrell says, there's your dinner. Oh, come on, guys. Can't we talk this out over a couple of sarsaparillas, maybe? No deal, choker. Uh, my treat. <laughs> <laughs> You're going down. Oh, I don't think so, blade dude and throttle shaft. I'm out of here. <laughs> Where did he go? Where did he go, blade man? I don't know. He tricked us again. He managed to escape. Back to the mower shop. I wonder what next week's gonna have in store for us. Oh, I can't wait. I love that show. All right, show's over. Now you two get out. Okay. Oh, can, can I fix Grandma's mower real quick? No, we're not fixing Grandma's mower right now. I'm closed. Now get, get out. out. Oh, man. All right, whatever. Show's over. Can Beat I it. Fix I don't need to go, Daddy. Okay. Bye. Bye.